Hi there, I'm Nisha from nishahomi.com. Today I'm making Kerala fish curry with coconut milk. This fish curry with coconut milk is best served with rice or puto. Ingredients needed to make Kerala fish curry with coconut milk are 2 onions sliced, 2 green chilli, about 6 cloves of garlic sliced thinly, 1 inch ginger sliced thinly, 2 tomatoes sliced, 1 cup thick coconut milk, half cup thin coconut milk and about 500 grams of fish. Also one sprig of curry leaves. Heat a manchatti with about 2 tablespoon of coconut oil. Once the oil is heated, add in 3 4 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Once the mustard seed starts to splutter, add in the sliced onions. Add in the green chilli, garlic and ginger. Give it a nice mix. Add in one and a half teaspoon salt. Adding salt also helps the onions to cook faster. Add in the curry leaves. And allow the onions to become transparent. Take about two to two and a half minutes. Once the onion is transparent, add in one tablespoon Kashmiri chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder. I'll give it a mix. Once the raw flavor of the chilli powder has diminished, add in the sliced tomatoes. Give it a nice mix. Allow the tomatoes to get cooked. Once the tomatoes are cooked, mix well. It will take about 3 to 4 minutes for the tomatoes to soften and cook. So once that is done, add in half cup of thin coconut milk. Give it a mix. And add in the fish pieces. Now put the flame on medium and cover and cook the fish. After about 5 minutes let's open the lid. The fish looks good. Now let's add in 1 cup of thick coconut milk. Cooked fish tends to break easily. So let's just swirl the pan. Add in half teaspoon crushed pepper. Give it a light mix. And then switch off the flame. Kerala fish curry is ready. Serve it with rice or puto. Do try my fish curry and let me know how this turned out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.